Merrick Kodal, Project Manager with System Spray Cool. Uh, I guess we're going to go over what we do for our spray test. First thing we do is pressure test the header, flush it out for debris, check for, uh, for any leaks from the pipe nipples. Uh, next we get into the spray test. Uh, we're looking for full coverage as designed. And then once there's full water on the equipment, we're looking for the cascading water to make sure we don't carry any pools. Uh, we're looking to make sure we're spraying under deflector plates and try to mitigate any rivers or pools of water. When the water is on, you have a large volume of water in tension coming down the vertical hot face, skipping over the deflector plate. The purpose of the deflector plate is to deflect the water over the nozzle spring up underneath to get up in this corner and make sure that the brick bump out is fully covered. So we always look at every nozzle to make sure we got tab washers on each nozzle. Once they're aimed, the tab washers are tack welded in place. We're also, once water's on, we're checking for clogged nozzles to make sure no debris has gotten in the spray bars during fabrication. We're making sure the cam locks are in good working order. We're making sure there's the anti-rotation devices in place, which ensures the proper distance of the nozzle off the hot face. We're also looking for loose fittings to make sure that they're tight. ID tags on all the spray bars. You can see there's an ID tag at the header and the corresponding spray bar. 